Well, I hope it gives them a big lift because unfortunately I can't do it because I'm not actually at the Celtic Dundee United game today because because I'm in Thurso this weekend and not Parkhead to watch Celtic Dundee United. I have instead come up north to support my friend Adam. You've met him very briefly before on the uh, Dundee Derby vlog from back in back in the summertime when uh, they played at Tannadice. Came along to that game because he was down visiting me. So tonight he is making his debut for Thursday based promotion Combat League Wrestling. And as with most wrestlers, he is going under a pseudonym. Uh, he is one Albion De Quincey of House Stag. Um, that's the group that he's with in the promotion. So I thought I'll make a wee sign for him. And we're going to be part of the De Quincey section this evening. So I've not really talked about wrestling on the channel before, of course being primarily a Scottish football channel, but the eagle-eyed amongst you will have noticed when we've done podcasts back at my place. I've got my cube shelf regionally in the background, and as well as wonderful things like Sean Rooney, I've also got a WWE Championship belt, which the story behind that was, um, I, I'm a big wrestling fan obviously, and a lot of my mates are as well. When I left my old job, uh, my lovely ex-colleagues at BP decided to get me some Drew McIntyre uh, side plates, which are things that you can like screw onto the side of like belts, when, depending on uh, who your favourite wrestler is and who wins them. And this was at the time where uh, a wrestler called Drew Galloway, and WWE used to call Drew McIntyre, became the first ever, not only Scottish, but uh, British guy to ever win the WWE's uh, top championship. And so they bought me the side plates, and I went on the website and saw that the, the actual belts were on sale, and I thought, you know what? I'm going to treat myself. So I bought one, much to the chagrin of Hannah. Um, and now it's yeah, now it's uh, in my cube shelf and part of the podcast. Uh, so, so yeah, I'm a massive wrestling fan. And uh, yeah, one of my best mates. Uh, I'm the best man at my wedding this year, hopefully. Omicron, various COVID, COVID variants. Please stop. I just want to get hitched. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, so he's um, making his debut tonight. And I thought, I can't not come and uh, give him a... Give him a wee cheer from the sidelines, because he's actually going to be a good guy. Although I think he should be a bad guy in the future, but you know, time will tell. Adam and Amy always look after me when I come up here. I've got my lovely wee, wee corner with all that seems to be all the things that I've given them over the years. Football and F1 stuff congregated in one area, and then I get to sleep underneath it, so that's quite nice. But anyway, enough about me. Uh, who's Adam's favourite? What was his favourite book that's been adapted into a film there from back in the day on the road? Um, enough about me. Let's hear from uh, the main man himself, Mr De Quincey. Good evening, everyone. I would like to introduce myself before too many people decide to jump the gun and talk about me. My name is Albion De Quincey, and I am making my debut next Saturday at the British Legion in Thurso. I appreciate I am the new guy around here, and I'd like to thank my teammates in House Stag, Lad Chapman, and my captain, Taylor Vite, for their trust in me. Wildcat captain RJ Cash recently claimed that I like to spit rhymes. This is only partially true. I certainly do like to write, but I can assure you that my poetry cannot be regarded as spitting rhymes. There is far more sophistication in what I do than just an angry man shouting down a camera. My poetry, however, is for another time. Aside from this, I have no interest in speaking about others. I find it crass and I find it undignified. I am speaking to you all today to try and explain my intentions for next week and for the upcoming year. I am involved in a tag team match alongside my captain, Taylor, against two veterans in Glendon Bar and Connor Rose as well as being an entrant in the War Games Rumble. As the unknown quantity in this match, I can assure you all that I've been preparing for this moment for a long time. I'm fit, I'm healthy, and I'm battle ready. What my opponent may see as weakness, I see opportunity. While my opponents may see a rookie standing across the ring from them, I see in myself someone who is willing to fight for the respect of my teammates and to prove to everyone in attendance that I can surpass all expectations and bring home the win for House Stag. Again, I can only apologise for not releasing any poetry for you today. I feel it to be far more appropriate to compose something new once the match is won and the dust has settled. Finally, may I ask the other competitors to adequately prepare for next week, focus on themselves and stop talking sh It really is sad to see Chris Boyd raging 
But uh, yeah, hopefully Celtic can uh, take advantage of this now. Because if Celtic could beat United today, F won't be easy. F would beat United, and we get a result against Rangers at Parkhead on Wednesday. All of a sudden, we'll be top of the league. But enough about football. Today is about wrestling. <laughs> Oh! Oh! It's the kiss 
pray hard. Say, no. Finish him. Finish him. He's stopping a mud hole and walking in dry.